Douglas, do you have the GE? Uh, hopefully, you're smarter than both of us, and you actually understand what this means. GE I'm, makes breakthrough in hypersonic <laughs> propulsion. We need a coloring book version of this, Gonky. Can you make us up? <laughs> GE Aerospace says it successfully demonstrated an advanced jet propulsion concept that involves a dual-mode ramjet design utilizing rotating detonation combustion. This could offer a pathway to the development of new aircraft and missiles capable of flying efficiently at high supersonic and even hypersonic speeds. Everybody's hot on hypersonic across long distances. It's believed to be the first, the world-first hypersonic dual-mode ramjet rig test with rotating detonation combustion in a supersonic flow stream. Hypersonic is defined as anything but Mach 5, in case you needed to know that. Okay, so this, I think, is the part that matters. A uh, typical air-breathing DMRJ propulsion system can only begin operating, so that would be a, a traditional ramjet, can only begin operating when the vehicle achieves <clears throat> supersonic speeds of greater than Mach 3. GE Aerospace engineers are working on a rotating detonation-enabled dual-mode ramjet that is capable of operating at lower Mach numbers, enabling the flight vehicle to operate more efficiently and achieve long range. Rotating detonation combustion enables high thrust generation more efficiently by combusting the fuel through detonation waves instead of a standard combustion system that powers traditional jet engines today. To elaborate, this is where it gets heavy, in, a most, in most traditional gas turbines, including turbofan and turbojet engines, air is fed in from an inlet and compressed and then is mixed with fuel and burned via deflagration where combustion occurs at a subsonic rate in a combustion chamber. This process can, creates the continuous flow of hot, high-pressure air needed to make the whole system run. A rotating detonation engine, which involves combustion that happens at a supersonic rate, starts with one cylinder inside a larger one with a gap between them and some holes or slits through which a detonation fuel mix can be pushed, according to a past article on the general concept from New Atlas. Some form of ignition creates a detonation in that annular gap, which creates gases that are pushed out one end of the ring-shaped channel to produce thrust in the opposite direction. It also creates shock waves. Gunky, this sounds like a two-stroke exhaust. <laughs> it also creates a shock wave that propagates yeah. around the channel at around five times the speed of sound, and that shock wave can be used to ignite more detonations in a self-sustaining rotating pattern if fuel is added in the right spots at the right times. And I saw a diagram here somewhere that looked like it would help, but I can't find it again. So they're 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 basically using explosions and Oh, look, it's Scott Manley. Um, pressure waves in place of the compressor. I think this is what I was looking for. <laughs> Obviously. Does it still suck, squeeze, bang, blow? That's the <laughs> um, it sucks and squeezes, but or does it suck no and bang? No bang, no blow? No, there's definitely, it's there that, has that, to be blow out the back end. I think Dude. there's sucking, banging, and blowing without squeezing. We need a coloring book version of this, Gonky. Come Can on you it. make us up? <laughs> <laughs> we need um, our, I, our Ram, former I, Air Force uh, engineer guy. Coloring I understand book. nothing. Although, um, I played the Dark Star mission on Microsoft Flight Sim, so I know exactly what they're <laughs> talking about. Usually you have to get up to speed and then kind of bun over and then get to your ramjet speed and then engage it and then get back up to speed and then you can go Mach 10. <laughs> so pretty pretty sure that's what this is. Dude, I'm not an engineer, bro. I'm an operator. Do you want to like, watch some videos? Will that help? <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> sure. Does it still have throttles? I don't know, man. It's 11 minutes. <laughs> oh, God, no. We oh don't have 11 gosh. minutes. Have that Efficiency. Time. Let's just hit the highlights. Efficiency. With some inlet valves at one end. No, nope. don't be, like it. Mm, Skip it. The old Skip style. It. Just, just get rid of it. Pulse just detonation the engines can exceed don't like it. if... Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, man. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, There's so what, what have we learned, Gonky? We're, we're just getting rid of the whole thing. We're just going back uh, to those. Because it's I fun. mean... Uh, obviously hypersonic propulsion system would, would be a huge advantage. <clears throat> well, um, so, why, why is it still going? So I think the takeaway here is that GE has done something cool right. to make engines work better to go hypersonic more easily. And therefore we get faster airplanes or missile tech. Right. And 
that's cool. Yeah, the ability to go higher and faster, man. <laughs> High, fast, do good work. We're going to yeah, talk I mean, about that with the MiG-41 here. That's right, exactly. <clears throat> so this is your primer. Uh, the academics, there will be a test later. Uh, I, I won't be you know, it. <laughs> honestly, I, I wish we had deeper intel on this, um, but the fact that w- both of us are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we are not, ignorant when it comes to engineering. We are pilots, and we know nothing about any of this stuff. All we know is airplane go fast. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it go faster. Yeah. It goes slower. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you remember, it did, so the... Oh God. This, so this one is for, for legal reasons. This is a joke. Please don't cancel me, but this is a real thing. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the wheelchair maneuver? What? The wheelchair maneuver. No. I mean, explain it. I may so have. The platitudes we used to say in the Viper, right? There's the get high, get fast, do good work. Yeah. You know, the Bob Marley was, uh, but there's the wheelchair. So when you were going in a nine K and they call fights on, and mm-hmm. you're trying to get to that turn circle entry, they'd say, do the wheelchair maneuver because you're pushing both hands forward. Oh, yeah. Because you're unloading. Yes. But in a Viper, yeah. it's more like, because it's both, you know, it's, a, it's not like the stick, you know, so it's both sides. You know, it's not punching the MC, MPCD right. like you did in the Hornet. So you take the throttle and the stick and you do the wheelchair yep. maneuver. Yeah, we, yeah. That's the unload. <laughs> that's you're reducing drag. Addition. Right. Yeah, your energy, right. you're, you're doing energy addition. Clean up the so, I don't remember why I'm telling this story other than I'm trying to get canceled here. But the, the point being <laughs> is that if you explain it to me like I'm five. Right. I will right. do you like I know. Well, no, dude, it's just understand it's, any of no, this. You already you brought, you brought up a good point, right? In, aer, in, in aerodynamics, right? They're trying to explain how jet engine works. And then, and then when they say it sucks, squeeze, bang, blow, you're like, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> that's that's how I learned it. Easy that's peasy. Actually, all engines really suck, squeeze, bang, blow. You, I, I know. Mean, that's. That's it. As soon, what, as soon as they say that, it's like, oh, yeah, of course. Why didn't you say that at the beginning? Well, because we're fighter pilots and we learn by association, but we have 12-year-old minds. So if you tell us suck, squeeze, bang, blow, or, for example, First uh, smile. In, in, the, in, the, <laughs> in the Air Force, for example, like to get into your raft, it was slip, separate, lubricate, inspect, penetrate. And that's how you got into the raft. That's what they taught us. And like... To this day, that was that was like almost twenty <laughs> years ago. I know how to get into a raft because of that. Yeah, that's good. That, that needs to make it to the Navy because they didn't teach us that. Well, perhaps you did not. Uh, the odds are, I'd be in a raft. Well, Garrett switched over to my channel and says, "Suck, squeeze, bang, blow" is the motto for life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's funny. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Yeah, I'm well, tell my wife that later. <laughs> uh, because I'm a pilot, I don't care about engineering. Remember, Gonky, Fox News is watching, so we got to be careful what That's we true. say. We do care about engineering. I mean, it it is it is good to know how your airplane works, uh, but you don't need to be in the yeah, weeds. But the tech to, is cool. Yeah, I think, the, I think the tech is cool, man. So here's the thing: if they want me to fly something hypersonic with this engine, the answer is yes. If they want me to understand it. Yeah, we had a saying. It's like, dude, you're not trying to build it. You're just going to rent it. So, yeah, I mean, renting it for, right. for a, a 1.0. Yeah. 